is very very public it's uh, it's almost like I see many of you needing to deal with what, what we have here is like institutions this is like lending institution governmental institutions as well as you know some official authority uh, body and what you have to do is I'm sensing many of you have to go over your finances so for example this combination basically indicates to me there is some type of either a restriction when it comes to your spending so for example you could be under a trustee you could have like a, another person that is managing your finances for you and so money might also be dispensed under specific conditions so for example you need to finish phase one of this project in order for us to assess it and then give you money for phase two and then I'm also sensing for many of you, your accounting system, your money, your spending, your finances. Um, you have to like print out ledgers, print out accounts, and you know, you have to keep everything very itemized. And then you have to print out the entire ledger for some somebody else, an official body or somebody else to review it and to let you know, first of all, where are you squandering your money? How you can curb your financial expenditures? So I do see a, an element of restriction when it comes to your finances, okay? And then for others of you, you might be, this is pretty much the card about, you know, somebody who owns assets, who owns um, physical property, who manages real estate, or even who has property of their own. And so when it shows up in the reverse, it's almost like you're consulting somebody. Should I buy or should I sell? Should I liquidate assets? Should I find a location to live? So I feel like money housing situation as well is really linked up with financial institutions here. And so if you're hoping to remove yourself from a specific location, a specific dwelling, or if for whatever reason you feel like, you know, for example, you have um, some type of like senior retirement home uh, that you go to, I feel like there are stipulations as to how much you can earn, how much income you have coming in. And so I do see a lot of shifts and changes here as it relates to your money and where you are living, okay? So I'm seeing people um, that might be restricted financially. I'm also seeing some of you, um, you have to do things in stages before more funds can be dispensed towards you to finish up the 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 job so that could be in a um, work situation and then others dealing with some type of official body or somebody who's reviewing your finances and who's you know giving you advice on where you can curb your spending who's giving you financial advice as well whether or not you should liquidate your assets whether or not you should sell a home and move to a different location and then some of you the home environment the tower in the reverse you know don't fear reverse cards because if you want the tower this is actually a very good placement for it to come out in the reverse position it basically means that some change something very strong and imminent is already like you know you have to make some changes you know that you have to you know shift your energy but and when it comes in the reverse position it's like something that should have done a while ago and now you are actually in a place where you can okay emotionally mentally deal with it so it's like it's something that was begging your attention a few months ago but the coming in for this month i feel like you just have to do it for legal issues for financial structural issues or just you know the energy is so prominent that you finally need to really sit down and assess this situation right now okay the other thing that's coming in, if you have an earth sign, so a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, a family member, because it's linked up with the Hierophant, which begs me to, you know, say family, like the institution of family, somebody that you have blood ties to. It could be a child for some of you, grandchild, or even an adult that is under your living arrangement. Like it, it's somehow related to either your living arrangement or your um, family unit. And what I feel is there might be some news that you're going to have to deal with. And I feel, honestly, this is kind of like somebody who is very emotionally in tune, okay? Your energy as the King of Cups, 
you could be male or female watching this this is gender neutral but the energy is providing advice and emotional support to another person but the emotional support is not coming out like the queen of cups where it's very like oh i sympathize i understand this is more like tell me what's going on and then i'll give you you know some advice as to how to fix it you might have an earth sign that is coming to you in your environment with some type of cataclysm going on in their life that they've been kind of avoiding dealing with that they've been sweeping under the rug and this is the month where it comes in and you're gonna have to give them a piece of your mind you're gonna have to give some advice you're gonna have to see what they're struggling with and how you can help them so your energy is coming out very clear very direct and very open meaning that a lot of people will come to you and solicit advice they will ask you many many questions they're confused and so you're internalizing all of this you're just like okay I see why you're confused I see why things are complicated let me break it down to you so that it doesn't seem so overwhelming and daunting so you're gonna be in a position where you're giving a lot of guidance this month to other people and you're gonna be in a position where I feel like your skills, your expertise is going to be delivered. You know, it's like disseminating information, disseminating advice to other people, but doing so in a way where you break down the information. It's not just all technical. You break down the information so that it is digestible to your audience, okay? Which is something that you're naturally very good at. So I feel like you might be dealing with people who might not be very financially savvy, and then you're a financial consultant, and you're in a way, in a position to help them, you know, manage their assets, manage their finances. And then for those of you in the more technical field, like ICT come to mind, you might be dealing with people where you have to use, you know, layman's terms to explain really, really complicated concepts so that they can understand things from where you're coming from. So I see this process about dissecting technical information. Um, this is what I usually call like the ICT person, you know, the tech support, the customer support. And um, when it shows up in the reverse position, it seems to me like people around you might not have an idea of what they need to do. They think they've already got it, but the situation is a lot more complicated, it's a lot more convoluted than they understand. So it's like they they see some information, they run with it, and they're like, this is how it is. But I feel like you're in a position to tell them, actually is a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit more nuanced. So listen to what I have to say. So you're gonna kind of stop somebody in their tracks and telling them you're heading in the wrong direction. You need to do this. You need to listen to what I have to say. You need to follow my advice. Let me break it down for you. So the key word mainly is, you know, let me break down something. Let somebody break down something for you as well. Um, the first card that came out here this is a card of the Four of Swords. This is a, a, a restful state, okay? Like recuperating from illnesses, recuperating from something, or dealing with somebody who might also be recuperating from some type of a physical symptom. When it shows up in the reverse position, basically what it means is you're either coming out of this or you're helping somebody come out of this. And you're helping them not only financially, emotionally, but also physically. You might physically need to ease somebody. You know, they might be, excuse me, that uh, train. They might be feeling under the weather and you might have to, you know, help them get around physically. So I feel this element about you being the helper um, coming to other people's aid this month and especially you know coming into help other people kind of like be the the voice of reason but also the 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 uh, knight in shining armor for another person the second card here the seven of cups this is choices options illusions and a lot of the times I feel like this is vision of grandeur thinking that like oh everything's gonna be fine if I have this if I have a B C D I'm gonna get you know result um, E for example and when it shows up in the reverse position it's like getting a lot of clarity getting a lot of like truths retain pertaining to your financial situation truth pertaining to your property 
So you might, for example, have thought that, okay, I want to sell my property and uh, market value, you know, on Z estimate, for example, is like 300000 And then you get an appraiser coming to your house and they're like, well, actually, there are some uh, structural things that need to be fixed. So your property is going to be a lot lower because of all these repairs. So it's like some truth, some appraisal, some solid information is going to be coming through for you pertaining to finances. How much am I really making? How much am I qualified for in retirement? And then some truth, some um, solid information, some clear numbers will be coming in for you regarding your living situation <clears throat> because like I said the king of pentacles it's about real estate it's about whether or not you have enough money to purchase a new house it's about whether or not you have enough money or you know the bank will loan you the money to purchase a new property to rent a, a property as well so I feel like you're getting a dose of truth which is actually going to be really helpful it's always good to have information so that we know how to proceed, okay? So if you've been procrastinating on getting some type of financial advice, financial assistance, I feel like this is the month where you're going to know where to turn. You're going to know where to go and you're going to know where the help is, all right? Uh, with the tower, once again, restructuring when it comes to finances. So the, the, the theme of this reading, very finance focused, very truth, clarity, you know, uh, like um, a, a more desirable candidate when it comes to further promotion in this very rigid, structured, hierarchical work environment, okay? So this is the month where I feel you're going to know what you need to do. You're going to know where you need to prioritize and it's coming through work finance and, you know, investments and things like that. Okay. So Pisces, um, I told the other signs, I am so, so sorry for doing your reading so late. Um, I had to move, I had to move house, like physically get up and move. And at the very last minute, like the past two weeks, so things have been really crazy. So I am so sorry for the delay with your reading. Um, I promise, promise, promise that it won't be uh, late next month, okay? Because I'm settled in now. So I apologize for the delay. And uh, I'm splitting up this reading with the love reading because the internet is very slow and I need to, you know, reduce the time with the reading.